said I'm a crush Welcome to Unsung. I'm your host, Anthony Walker. In this episode, we're coming to you from Brookline in front of the War Veterans Memorial. After taking a quick graduation break, we return to our series on veterans, again featuring Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall. Also, we will check in with the Fred Rogers Center Early Literacy Clips. But first, as always, let's take a look at the latest news from our area nonprofits. WQED is partnering with Blackmail Engagement, which piloted BME storytelling projects in Philadelphia, Detroit, Baltimore, and now Pittsburgh to highlight African American males engaging with and leading others in service to their communities. This portion of the project will welcome community produced content from the sources of the initiative, men and boys who are emerging leaders and closest to their communities. Content will be housed on the BME website at bmecommunity.org with links to WQED Interactive and social media will play a major role in distributing content to the community. WQED and BME have created a street team to collect stories and individuals will be able to record and submit their own stories. The top stories will be highlighted on WQED Interactive at wqed.org and selected stories will be given further depth on WQED TV's portrayal and perception series this year. The Pittsburgh Foundation is introducing minor modifications to the program for the next two iterations, which are likely to result in further changes to the program from 2015 onwards. The foundation will announce its planned change and format to take effect in 2015 as soon as it has completed an evaluation process that will include continued consultation with donors and nonprofit organizations, as well as discussions among the foundation's board and staff. In the meantime, the foundation has committed to hosting the 2013 Day of Giving together with an event in 2014, which may form part of a planned National Day of Giving at a date to be confirmed. For this year's Day of Giving, the match pool for Allegheny County is expected to be approximately $750,000 and for Westmoreland County, approximately $100,000, both similar to 2012. This year, to ensure a robust mass percentage for participating nonprofits, the foundation has determined that only the first $1,000 per individual per organization will be eligible to receive matching dollars from match pools. In previous years, the cap was $10,000. Now, let's go back to Soldiers and Sailors to get the rest of the story. We're in the auditorium at Soldiers and Sailors, and this is the central feature of the building. It's 70 feet tall, the roof, and it seats 2,300 people. It's almost identical as you see it today as it was in 1910. With the Gettysburg Address you see behind me is original to the building. It's a painting. It's a very large painting painted on canvas. And we see it in photographs in the earliest photos of soldiers and sailors, the opening ceremony that's there, the eagle medallions, the plaster work, the ceiling, everything is original. And it, you know, this is one of these reminders of America and its uh, booming days and its uh, coming of age. And this, this place was meant to uh, be a cultural, civic community location. Behind me is our ballroom and uh, it doesn't look like it did in 1990 when they filmed Silence of the Lambs there. The famous cage scene was filmed in there and it's completely different now. Now it's a scene of many, many wedding receptions, even some, uh, some ceremonies. Just about every weekend we have a wedding reception in our ballroom, beautiful grand ballroom. Um, and we also have other events in there, corporate events, expos, um, blood drives, but it's, it's utilized, and that was part of, when the building was built, that was part of the reason to build it this way. So it wasn't just a, an open, empty shell that looked beautiful from the outside and grand from the outside. It was a functioning civic center, basically, on the inside, with meeting rooms, including the, this large ballroom and the auditorium downstairs. We're on the third floor at Soldiers and Sailors, and this was the Board of Directors room. Uh, it's an original room, actually not 1910, but it was decorated in 1923 in memory of uh, one of the board of directors, one of the founders who had passed away. So this is, you know, uh, the only thing we're missing is the smell of cigar smoke to be back in 1923 at a board of directors meeting. And this particular flight suit belonged to Teresa James. She was one of the first um, women Air Army Air Service pilots um, 
that, that operated, one of the very first, I think one of the first of 10. Uh, she passed away a few years ago. She was in her 90s when she passed away, and she uh, continued to serve. I mean, once she was allowed to join, she became an actual pilot and uh, served in the uh, Air Force for quite a number of years. The man to my right over here is uh, Dan Casella. He uh, actually was one of our interns. He served a tour in Iraq, came to finish his education at Pitt, um, we also have another uniform behind me of a Lieutenant Bosian. Uh, he he uh, brought back lots of things, including you know things you don't think about. Um, his computer that he used over there every day, his iPod, which uh, both, I might add, died while they were there. They were casualties of war and sand. Um, and a piece of an IED that hit his vehicle. He was wounded with a, a piece from that blast. So these things are, you know, kind of immediate and and reflect um, what was going on with those guys, including the banner uh, behind me, which is a memorial to uh, two soldiers, uh, last name of Fike and Hoover, who were best friends, best buddies. They served together and unfortunately were killed together in Afghanistan. And the men in their uh, company made this banner and flew it in memorial to them uh, through the rest of their service and thought it fitting to bring here. And this is exactly what we're about. We're about memory and preserving memory and. Um, you know, even though it's current, this is going to be here for a hundred years and it's going to be meaningful and their memories will be preserved here. And one of the things that we do and we've been doing is trying obviously to, to save money and we're trying to go green. We're trying to be one of the oldest green buildings in the, in the area. All the lights that you see are, uh, are CFLs or, or LEDs. Just a year and a half ago, we replaced nearly a thousand light bulbs throughout the whole building in the ballroom and the auditorium with LEDs and CFLs. Now when you look at the building, someone may say, what are they doing to the roof? Because the most, from the outside, besides the cannons on the front lawn and the grand entrance, the other thing that is very uh, recognizable and, and, and people remember is the, uh, the copper roof, uh, the pyramid roof that is at the very top. But there's other functioning roofs, there's different level roofs throughout the building. And the, the main level, the, the roof, the roof that covers our very, very important artifacts um, is the roof that we're working on now. And the, the roof itself is going to be replaced and then eventually capped off with a green product. So um, it will help with uh, stormwater runoff, it'll help with insulation, and just extend the, the life of the roof, which in turn will also extend our, uh, our financial uh, stability. We realize and recognize that we can do uh, on, our, uh, on our own to further our, our, our life here. Um, so it's, it's an ongoing challenge, I like to call it, um, but it's a fun one because it's a very, very worthy cause for what we're doing. Just because it's summer does not mean that learning is over. You can check in with all of the Fred Rogers Center's early learning literacy clips on Pittsburgh on Video. Here is using technology to learn and play. I think this image pretty much sums up our modern world. Two people on their cell phones while one takes a picture. With smart planning, technology can provide opportunities for conversation and give children another outlet to demonstrate their creativity and learning. Using old cell phones that no longer worked, one center created a bustling room full of conversations. Are you being here? Did you say you'll be here at 3.30 today? Hello? Yes, I'll be here. Hi, how are you? 3.30? Yes, Nola gave me the phone. Bye. Bye. Are you? Bye. Okay, but I wasn't done. done. It's for you. Yeah. I'll have to call to you. you back. Kids love seeing pictures of themselves. Taking pictures provides a wonderful opportunity for a conversation. Uh, Rayana, is that you? What are you doing in that picture? See? Who's that? Rayana, and who's that? It's Mary Ann, and that's Miss Sandy. They're reading a book. Do you see? And I did that by pressing the stick button. This is the button. This is the picture button. That's a big picture. Yep, that's the picture button. 
Is that your Do fish? you want to give it's it a, a push? Fish. Okay. Now you try to push it. Go ahead. Press this big button. That's hard. Wow. You took a picture. That's the picture you took. What is this? You see that picture? You see it? Wait, can I be in the picture too? Yes. Okay, yes. Come on. The cameras don't even need to work. Imaginary play is a powerful thing. Did you say cheese? Cheese! <laughs> oh, okay. that turned out so oh, nice. Can you say that to my phone? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, just push a can button. Can you send it to and me? And it can go to Mr. Delisa's phone. Here, let me show you. Oh. <gasps> look Perfect. at that picture. That I have it. Look at the picture of us. Ain't it cute? We look so wonderful. Yeah. All of these activities encourage children to use and listen to language, which helps promote early reading. The Hollywood Theater invites you to get scared on June 22nd to benefit Scares That Care. Scares That Care is a 501c3 all-volunteer charity that helps sick kids and women fighting breast cancer. The Hollywood will be showing George Romero's Martin and will be joined by the star of the film, John Amplas. There are opportunities for autographs, a silent auction, and more. Details are available at thehollywooddormont.org. The Penn Avenue Arts District has seen many changes in the past five years, and they're on the verge of some bigger ones to come. On June 15th, you can celebrate the transitions, learn about the amazing businesses that operate on the street, and enjoy entertainment. There will be on-street vendors, including artists and makers, as well as information booths from some of our amazing nonprofits, food vendors from Patton Avenue and East End restaurants, and more. The Asante Award, given by the Umaja African Arts Company, honors an array of artists in the Pittsburgh community and acknowledges their contributions to various genres of art in the categories of blues, hip-hop, jazz, performing arts, spiritual, spoken word, and theater. Asante is a key Swahili word meaning thank you, and Umaja African Arts Company is thanking Pittsburgh artists for their unique gifts. Tickets for the award ceremony at the August Wilson Center on June 28th are available at the address on your screen. Once again, you might have recognized story tags and Twitter handles after our stories. We invite you to continue the conversation by tagging the nonprofit or using the story tag on Twitter. You can also get in touch with us on Twitter at PGH on video or hashtag UnsungPGH. As always, thanks for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. And as a reminder, we're on iTunes. So whether you like the video version, but you gotta run out, take us with you. Got a nonprofit you think is cool? Let us know why, and you might just find yourself here on Unsung. You can email your story ideas to Christopher at whitlatchc at pghfdn.org. As always, I'm your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. So I said I'm a crush it. Call me the golden boy, cause it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it, the flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me. Masterpiece, I outran a pace car. Any